Hey guys, it's Eddie. Uh, today I want to shoot another little video here. I want to show you how to pretty accurately adjust a manifold gauge. Now, I don't personally own uh, analog gauges anymore. Mine are all digital. But the uh, this particular gauge here, I just want to show you how you can make sure it's reading accurately. Uh, only a few tools that you need. Uh, Let's go over them real quick. All right, first thing you're gonna need is a tank of Freon here. Uh, second thing you're gonna need something that's gonna measure temperature. I'm gonna use my my field my little field piece here. It's got a little uh, K-type probe on there, so I can measure it. I'm gonna actually tank tape this to the tank. All right, the next thing you're gonna need is a pressure temperature chart. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to let me get over here where I can start doing this. We're just going to take a little piece of tape and I'm going to tape this temperature probe right to the side of the, duct, the tank here. I want to see how hot this Freon tank is. Alright. We're going to let that balance out. I'm sorry, I got allergies. My nose is running a little bit. Alright, so my Freon tank is 82 degrees. Alright, so we know that temperature is 82 degrees. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to hook up my gauge, whether it be via manifold or I'm just direct connected to my tank here. Alright, so I've got this zoomed in. Uh, if you look on the gauge, I've got a pink line that's got R410A in it. I've got a green line that's got R22. Then I've got an orange line with uh, 404. And a blue line with 134. So, once you have your gauge hooked up to your Freon tank, you turn on your tank and you see where your needle intersects your, we're doing R22, so I want to see where my needle intersects the gauge here. And it should match the temperature that's on your tank. Okay, if it's not lined up here where it needs to be, in my case it's 86 degrees, 85 degrees. Uh, right now I'm off just a smidge, not much. I'm going to leave it alone, but what you would do to adjust it is to take off this cap. You would take your little uh, thermostat screwdriver here and stick it in there and adjust your needle left to right how it moves until you get it right where you want it. In my case, right about there is where I want mine to be at. Alright, some set screws are in the back, some set screws are in the front. Just have to find your screw and adjust it. Okay, let's say yours doesn't show you the temperatures here. Alright, if that's the case and all you have is just the pressures, you're going to need a temperature pressure chart, which is what this is. Alright, so what we're going to do is that we're going to find 85 degrees and we're going to come over here to R22 and that's telling me that the pressure needs to be 156 pounds. So then we're going to come back here and we're going to adjust our needle to its 156 pounds. Alright, some guys think that you adjust it until your needle hits the zero and that's not quite accurate. Alright, you need to adjust it to, to match your temperature of your tank. That's the most accurate way. Alright, this is going to be the same way on Puron. I'm going to hook this up to a Puron tank and show you that I mean, it's the same way either way. Alright guys, now we've got it hooked up to a Puron unit. 
Kind of zoom in on the gauge here and kind of get a better view of. Like I said, there's the R410A, there's R22, 404, 134. So I'm going to take a measurement. I'm going to line it up to wherever the temperature says it needs to be. And we'll go from there. Alright, right now it's 85 degrees. Uh, that's what the tank is. Okay, I'm going to turn the tank on. And, and if we zoom in, it should be sitting right on 85. It's off just a little bit. So I'm going to go back to that set screw right there. I'm going to adjust this until it's 85 degrees. Alright, so if you don't have the temperature on Puron, uh, what we're going to do is go by the pressure temperature chart. We're going to find the 410 column, which is the second one. And we're going to go down until we find 85 degrees. And we're going to go straight over and it will be 254 pounds. So that's what we need to set our needle at. 254 pounds for or 410A. So as you can see there, we're just a little bit over 254. So I'm going to take my screwdriver. I didn't really adjust it all that with R22. I was kind of guesstimating because I didn't have the temperature probe hooked up anymore, but it's cooled off a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and adjust it. That right there. Alright, so now I've got it set about where I want it, about 254. Let me zoom back out and I'll show you this pressure chart again. So again, we're going to go to R410. We're going to scroll down to 85, 254. We're going to scroll back to our gauge. And we're at about 254. Uh, so that's a pretty accurate way to set up your gauges. Don't just turn it until it hits zero. I mean, sometimes that works, I guess. Let's see what this does once I turn off the tank. Let out the pressure. Alright, so I'm get zoomed out here. So you can see where it's going to line up at. So, pretty big range there. I mean, it's still, it's kind of lined up at the very beginning of it, but it's quite not. But, anyways, that's how you can set up your gauges to make sure they're reading real accurate. Alright, thanks a lot.